Building NSO packages is a key capability of the product. Let's review the structure and code required. Starting on the dev box, I've displayed the files in the module 6 directory. Let's review the files in the MDT subdirectory, and I'll go three levels down because the deeply nested files aren't important right now. Creating packages from scratch is a bit laborious. I used this command to create a template style package which I already ran as it generated this directory structure. I've pre-configured our Yang model and XML template, which are typically the only two files you need to edit for this package type. Let's start by reviewing the Yang model. I want to stress that this is a Yang model we created, not something published from a vendor. We are defining the structure of the service, and NSO will translate this Yang model into device-specific instructions using the XML template. The first several lines are boilerplate that come with the package skeleton, but under the MDT list, we need to identify what constitutes an MDT instance. Both XE and XR identify MDT instances with a subscription ID. That value is an unsigned integer using the range shown. It's also the key of our list, given its purpose of uniquely identifying each MDT. Next, the boilerplate model identifies a leaf list. This is a list of leaf references identifying each device by name. In essence, this is how we select the devices to target for each MDT subscription. After that, we identify all of the necessary leaves to implement the feature. As in any network automation project, you can choose how much of the CLI to expose. I am only exposing a few options here not the entire CLI hierarchy. For example, we must specify a string XPath expression, which is the target that we are monitoring. It's also common to identify a source address for the gRPC connection, which is an IPv4 address in our network. The sample interval is measured in centiseconds, which is a unit of time equal to 1 100th of a second, and this is an unsigned 32-bit integer. Towards the bottom, we need to specify the receiver's IP address and gRPC port. We'll talk more about telemetry in the next module, so just focus on the Yang structure for now. To assist in generating the XML template, let's head to the NSO command line. In the previous module, we handcrafted an SNMP configuration, then performed a netconf get config RPC as a basis for our payload template. We're going to do the same thing here by handcrafting XE and XR MDT instances via NSO, converting that config to XML, then discarding the changes. We can use those XML snippets in our template implementation. Again, this is a lot to type, but I'll paste in this snippet to NSO. The syntax is similar to how we would configure these features on their respective command lines. We target a certain telemetry collector on a certain port using gRPC, specify what metric we want to monitor, specify the interval that it is monitored, then bind everything together within a subscription. Since we're using NSO to create these services, we actually don't care very much about the exact commands on each device, but we do need this to build our initial template. Once pasted, return to the root hierarchy using top, and then type show configuration. This shows us the changes to be committed in CLI format, and it looks okay to me. However, we want it in XML format, so let's add pipe display XML and rerun the show configuration command. Next, copy all of this XML text into a file, as we'll return to it soon. Since we only need this data to generate an XML template, use abort to discard the changes. Let's return to the directory structure to continue reviewing the package. Next, we'll examine the MDT XML template. Our template needs to account for both XE and XR based platforms using the XML snippets we just generated. Behind the scenes, I've pasted those into the boilerplate structure and replaced the fixed values with the variables from the Yang model. For example, the subscription ID references the sub-ID leaf from the Yang model. The same is true for the XPath, 
source interface, and all of the other values. This XML chunk will be used for all iOS devices when configuring an MDT subscription. The next chunk covers iOS XR devices. The format is a bit different, but the concept is exactly the same. Notice that some items were not exposed through the Yang model, such as the encoding type. We are dealing exclusively with key value GPB, sometimes called self-describing GPB, and our TIG stack doesn't support any other options at present. Again, more on that in the next module. At the bottom, notice that we append a zero to the end of the sample interval. That's because XR measures this value in milliseconds, not centiseconds, so we always need to multiply by 10. Appending a zero is an easy way to accomplish that. There are two steps remaining. We need to compile our package. I'll navigate to the MDT source directory and list the files. Technically, you can perform this step after defining the Yang model, but before defining the XML template. I personally like to do it last, because sometimes as I am creating my template, I may want to change the structure in the Yang model. In any case, type make to continue. This compiles the Yang package and creates an FXS file in the load directory. We can quickly check that, too. This file is binary data that humans can't understand, so don't edit it manually. As a minor administrative note, you would normally develop these packages within the packages subdirectory of your NSO instance. I've retained them in the module 6 directory for organizational reasons, so I'll use a Linux symbolic link to reference this package. Without this linkage, NSO will not know where to find the package. We can confirm that it worked by listing the files in the NSO instance package directory. There are three total packages, all of which are symbolic links. We see the iOS NED, iOS XR NED, and our custom MDT packages. Last, we can load this package by heading to the NSO CLI. I'll use packages reload to accomplish that, which takes several minutes. Once complete, it reports that all three packages were successfully loaded. Everything looks good so far.